got some things done at work. Kids are at daycare, so I'm gonna sneak off and see if I can go and spot a billy or two. Travis is out with our last elk hunter. Hopefully they fill something and we can go pack that out. But uh, I'm gonna go see if I can't scrounge up some a little easier to spot animal. Catch up with you when we're there and see how it goes. Well, I've been here for about oh, 20 minutes and I finally spotted a couple goats. I'm gonna get the spotter on them. See what, if I can tell what they are, but they're way up on the tippy top of that. So they're a ways out. The old loophole should be able to bring them in a little closer. See what they look like. Well, I'm gonna hike out of this spot. Head over to where those goats are. I think I can get a little closer. Get a little better view of them without bothering them. So, the ultimate goal is to find a billy. So I need to get a little closer, make sure that's what they are. Well, I got a better look at those two and maybe a little better video to put on here. They're definitely not shooters, so I'm gonna go to one other spot, take a peek, see what I can see, and probably call it. Good morning, guys. We are headed out this morning to look for a big old Billy Mountain Goat once again. Our hunt starts tomorrow. Ron's coming out, the lucky once and we'll call it 5,000 lifetime tag holder. And we're gonna try to put a mountain goat on the ground one of the next few days, so we're excited about it. I know he's excited about it, and we are really looking forward to it. But I'm going to meet Jeremy right now. We're gonna head out, put the loopholes to use, and see what we can find. You got any words of wisdom? Um, the best time to go look for mountain goats is when it's really foggy forces you to be really close <laughs> and you can really see whether they're a billy or a nanny you can even age them when it's foggy because you have to be that close <laughs> i sense a little bit of sarcasm there tip, no that's my tip of the day that's real oh that is real yeah. okay got it. It, it it adds to the challenge of an already hard thing to do we don't we don't mess around here at the buckstorm soda for breakfast <laughs> Soda and jerky. <laughs> it's diet at least, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Coffee for me. We gotta get Jeremy on the coffee wagon. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not old enough for that yet. <laughs> Still just a kid. What are you calling me? You got more kids than I do. <laughs> you got nothing. Alright, well, let's go find him. Let's go find a white goat and a white... She's foggy. And these two, neither one's a shooter. We're just kind of sizing them up. But I think we'll back out and try to go find some more. Yeah, we're gonna go try to glass some other stuff. The fog is kind of sucking in, so gonna make it a little trickier. But put our eyeballs on a couple more. Well, we are headed back to town. The fog did start to lift on our way out of there and we did glass up two more goats. 
long ways away, but we're gonna come back this evening and glass for a few hours. We ran into the other lucky tag holder, and so we'll both be hunting uh, tomorrow, and then he's gonna head home, but when there's only two tags, it's nice to meet the other tag holder and just game plan, game plan you know? No, no need to be stepping on each other's toes. And naturally, that's the area that gets hunted the most, so it's all good. But we're going to head back out this afternoon and put our eyes on some more. And hopefully try to locate a big belly before tomorrow. We'll see. Well, we made her back out here. We're headed in to a glassing point. Already spotted one set up and put the spotter on it see what it is see a long ways from up here Well, no shooters yet. We have seen four mountain goats. All appear to be either nannies or young billies. They're edgy. I think there's been a lot of kitties in this country because they are just, they just stand and constantly are looking around. You can tell that they've been getting chased around a little bit and there has been no kids yet. So that's nice, but. We're going to just keep looking and see what we see. just spotted one way up on this very tip top of that big rocky ridge but it's not big Jeremy made a heck of a spot we were going to come glass this and I thought he was looking at a bird in the dang tree but he could see over the tree and sure enough there's a mountain goat up there but saw quite a few goats today no shooters but it's just a matter of time before the big boys move in We'll just keep on grinding through the next few days and hopefully we can turn one up. Good morning, guys. I am just meeting up with Jeremy and we're gonna go pick up Ron and his son and his son-in-law and we're going mountain goat hunting. Not a thing a whole lot of people get to do in the state of South Dakota, so we're looking forward to it. Got quite a bit of intel over the last few weeks of scouting, and uh, hopefully it'll go down today. Sleep. There's Jeremy. Oh, <laughs> Travis is late. You almost did what? I almost just decided to go back home, go back to bed, and wait for you there. Oh yeah, it's, I'm three minutes late. Three minutes could be the difference between seeing a giant Billy when we get there and not. Yeah, you're welcome because it's going to be in our favor. I guess we'll have, that's to be determined. <laughs> Ready to kill a mountain goat? Always. Or assist in killing a mountain goat, I guess I should say. We're not going to be doing the killing. It's a team effort. Absolutely. We're going to be on the glass, hot and heavy. 
I'm ready to go. Let's go get some breakfast and then go kill a big white animal. All right, I'm in. Let's hit it. Well, we just got unloaded and we're gonna head into the glass and spot where we saw quite a few from yesterday. This is Ron, the lucky lottery winner. We're gonna go try to find a big boy today. Well, after looking at them pretty close, there's a nanny and a billy. But the billy's not very big. Must be a young one. But I got a good enough look to see that his bases were tight. He had a small rump patch and his horns swooped back a lot further than that nanny. So it's a good sign anyhow. I'm gonna go meet back up with these guys. We'll make a game plan. Moving on to the next spot. We saw one smaller billy and probably three nannies. So we're gonna bomb around the other side and find the big billy that it's gonna catch a bullet. I like it. Let's do it. Spotted another one, small one, bedded way up on a big old rock shelf. Not position A and not a shooter, so go to plan B, get around the other side like we were gonna and see what we see.
but we're just gonna keep getting after it. You can tell that they like it up here. This is all old sign, but can't complain. What greater thing could we be doing right now other than taking in that view, looking for mountain goats? We'll keep moving, see if we can turn something up. bombing up this ridge to look at another Kobe spot from a long ways away and I'm looking at a non-shooter might be a six maybe seven inch goat so um, I think it's the one we saw from across the way I'm not 100% sure everything looks different over here but I might try and move on a little higher and see if I can see something else too Onward and upward. Well, we are gonna post up in glass till dark. We uh, seen quite a few mountain goats today, but no shooters. Just hasn't quite worked out. Jeremy hiked up and put eyeballs on the one we spotted from like two miles. And it ended up being a nanny as well, so currently Nannyville, any day now, the billies are going to start to show up. We just got to hope that that's in the next couple days. And if not, we'll just hit it again. November is what it is. But I already seen two. I can see one right now across the canyon, but... Those guys set up on glassing rock over here. I'm gonna climb up to this next one so I can see down the drainage to the south. Hopefully we can turn up a shooter. We'll let you know if we do. Well, the same four are in here. Uh, the one that Jeremy hiked in to see what it was is way across still over there on that hill. None of them have moved too far, but I'm just going to keep glassing and try to find something new. Well, I think we're going to call it a night. Been a good day, just have not found a shooter bill yet, so maybe tomorrow will be the day. A lot can happen overnight. You never know. I'm gonna hike back over to those guys and pending uh, anything else happening, we'll see you in the morning. Good morning guys, day two. We are heading to pick up Ron right now. Another day of mountain goat hunting. Yesterday was a fun day. We saw quite a few goats. We're just trying to find the right one the hardest part of mountain goat hunting is just sizing them up and figuring out decisions, which decisions. one is an old billy. Dang right. But if Jeremy can step up his game today, he will find us a shooter. So. I don't want to go back to work, so I've just been not telling you about the big ones I'm seeing. Oh, gotcha. Well. So either maybe this afternoon or tomorrow. Okay. Fair enough. Then I might still get out of work, so. That's fair enough, I guess. I mean, I already approved your time off, so <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what the big deal is here. You gotta play your cards right. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna go pick up the boys and get after it. We'll see you out there. Heading into the glassy rock. Let's see if we can turn up a shooter today.
seen six goats this morning. We're going to dive in and get a closer look at one that looks like it might be a billy, but we're not sure. Hopefully it is and we can smack one. You ready to shoot one? I'm ready. Are you? Yeah. Me too. We've had enough fun looking at them. <laughs> Time to try actually killing one. My brother always used to say hunting's fun, but shooting's a lot more. I agree with him. <laughs> They made these hills a little smaller. <laughs> I used to follow my brother in law around. He's about six inches taller than him. Long damn legs. <laughs> yeah, me and him are like two opposites. He's usually walking, I'm running. Yeah, that's me. Well, our hunter had to go home due to unforeseen circumstances, uh, which is fine because the billies are not where uh, we want them. Where we want them at the moment. We did see one billy, uh, short, kind of short and thin, but short and thin, but definitely a billy. Yeah, younger one. So we're gonna cruise around, uh, check a couple other spots for when he comes back out in late November when they should be rutting pretty hard. So. We that had to be. give it a try anyhow, though, early. Just why not? It's a once in a 5,000 lifetime tag. You gotta, get, you gotta get skin in the game before you come out and shoot one in the first five minutes. So, For sure. We're gonna go scout in a little bit. We'll go spend a little time with the family. And we'll be back out in about three to four weeks. I think they'll be getting after it. It's been such a hot summer and early fall that I think everything's just gonna run a little late this year, too. So. Should be good. Well, it is Thanksgiving Day, and I'm going out to just do a little glassing and see if any billies have shown up. We've been keeping an eye on it down here. The rut's running a little late this year, so we're just waiting for them to come out of the heavens down into their breeding grounds. Hoping that today I'll find a big billy and we can get Ron back out here and get after him. But just thought I'd check in and hopefully we'll see something.
decided to cross the canyon. Well, on to Billy with a lone nanny. Gotta head back now. It's Thanksgiving Day, go spend a little time with the fam. But, good morning. Finally got a Billy moved in. So that's a good sign. Now I get to go boulder hopping back to the truck. Get Ron back out here and hopefully get on him or another Billy here in the next week or so. We'll see you then. Good morning, guys. We are headed out today with Ron again, and we got about a foot of snow two days ago, so it's going to be a fun one. We're hunting mountain goats in the snow, and it can be challenging enough the way it is, so here goes nothing. We'll see you out there. Well, we're gonna hike on in and see what we're looking at. Waiting on a woman back there. Get all his makeup and stuff ready. Gotta look good for the camera. I think Ron's ready to kill something. You ready? <laughs> I'm ready. I'm <laughs> it's ready. about time, huh? They're not making it easy on us today. No, they're not. Well, we spotted a goat from way across the canyon. Relatively confident it was a billy, but a little too far to tell. And we are heading in as we speak. We got the whole crew. Cool to see their whole family getting to share it. So go see if it works out.
nice billy. Now I'm trying to just figure out how the heck we're going to get there. <laughs> but we're going to find a way because he looks like a nice one. So stay tuned. I'm going to look at my map here and figure out a easiest route to get in there. Hopefully we can get in there and put him down. Well, we made a game plan, drove around the other side, and we're going to head in. If I drop my pin in the right spot, it's about 800 yards from where we're at right now. To the goats. We're just going to have to be careful, take our time. It's a rough country. Slippery, snowy. But we're going to get in there and hopefully put them down. Stay tuned. east edge trying to look back and see if we could see them but we're too far east so we're gonna swing back around and try to get eyes on them we got a pretty good idea where they are now it's always hard to get your bearings once you get around the other side but we'll call it a practice run we thought we'd come over here first so we didn't have to loop all the way back now we're gonna cut back up go find them shoot a big billy
Reload, reload. Hit him again. Reload. Hit him again. He's on the left now. So far, far left. left. Far, far left. left. Got him. Reload. Be there. That first one looked like he did real good. Yeah, it did. Tough suckers. He went over that hump there. Yeah. Hopefully that's all he did. <laughs> and a boy. <laughs> that was awesome. That's so cool. <sighs> he took long enough to clear them. God, man. he gave us enough freaking. <laughs> I saw blood on the second one when he turned to the red. Oh, oh yeah, he hit him good on that first one. I think the last one would have been more of a spine because he was kind of. Congratulations. Yeah, that's cool. Thank you. That's awesome. That was awesome. That was cool. That's something you don't see very often in your life. Nope. No, no. exactly. It's probably the only one I'll get to see. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah, it's like once in, I don't even know, a thousand lifetimes. <laughs> <laughs> And the other ones are still standing there. Yeah. Most work. people probably won't even ever know somebody that draws a tag. No, no. You know, unless you have a thousand person circle, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for shooting me and talking me out of shooting the nanny. You bet. <laughs> How's it look? Oh, no way. Uh, he went off of a big cliff. And we're kind of cliffed out, so those guys are going to go back to the truck, get all the way around. I'm going to try to cut through this. Probably not the smartest idea I've ever had. But I'm going to hang up because this is going to be a little sketchy. Got to go way down there. It doesn't look bad here, but it's a sheer cliff. But my thoughts are in this bottom, there's at least a bunch of trees I can hang on to, so I got something to hold on. Go find him. Why anything lives in this country is beyond me. I'm going down this old rock slide, trying to get to the bottom, which is down there. I think I can get there, though. I just hope to God he's down there and he's not hung up up high here. We're going to have problems. Well, the good news is I found him. The bad news is he is up there, but I think we can get to him. He's not like st cliffed. It's just going to be a little sketchy. But I dig it. I'm going to try to get up to him at least. And might even be able to go up with him. Just going to have to feel it out. Well, I found him. He's a nice Billy. Whew. Not sure what I'm gonna do now, but I got up here. So, it's a start. Those guys should be coming in from the bottom side eventually. And we'll figure out a way to get them down. And out. Awesome stuff. These things live in some insane country. He literally fell off of that cliff behind me and he's not busted up so that's good but there he sits this is his resting spot and how he landed he could have just went a little further jeremy's coming up right here but i just don't want to send him down the hill quite yet we'll figure out he's a really nice one uh we don't really want to have to do this but we're kind of out of options Try to get him down to the bottom before it gets dark. He survived a 200 foot fall <laughs> without breaking, so here we go. Just give him a little scoop. We're gonna have to die in the process. And hey, we, this might not be so bad after all. Just trying to guide him down. Perfect. Not bad. Just one step at a time. <laughs> that almost was me. <laughs> I'll show this to my wife. It doesn't look as steep in the video, so it's fine. Oh, good. <laughs> All right, I got to hang up.
case you guys are wondering why we're dragging this, it's because our 74 year old client, Ron, obviously is not going up there. <laughs> and so we want him to have a picture with this because most people never get to do this in their entire life. So it might suck versus just cutting them up and getting them out of here, but totally worth it. But we're gonna keep going. We got across the creek. We came up from up there. So progress is being made and there's a little trail up here. Once we get them there, then we got options at least. So good stuff. It's not even dark yet. I know. It's about to be. Yep, no doubt. We got on this trail finally and we've come all the way down it. But we still haven't made it that far because that's still the giant cliff where we shot him way up over the top of that. So, loving it. I wish Jeremy worked out more so I didn't have to freaking do so much. Me too. <laughs> Me too. Congratulations, nice shooting. Thank you very much. Yeah, it was a fun hunt. It was a fun hunt. He decided to go uh, for a little cliff dive <laughs> after the shot, but he held up pretty good. A little bit of scarring on his eye, but he'll fix her up. Well, the horns are intact, so yeah. that's the main thing. Yeah, he's a nice one too. He is. Jeremy and I aged it to the best of our abilities, and we're thinking he's probably a seven or eight year old Billy. And December, what is today, the 12th? Hold on. Yep. December 12th. Yep. Season ends then to December. I know you were probably getting a little nervous. We were waiting so long, and we <laughs> waited till we finally got a bunch of snow. And usually that'd be the opposite of what you'd want to do, but it worked out. <laughs> yes, it did work out. <laughs> so, now the fun begins. Get him out of here. Yeah. Get him caped out, cut up, and on the packs, and out we go. So congratulations. This, congratulations. This is the fun part, huh? This is the fun part. <laughs> yep. Okay. The whole thing. Congratulations. Fun, but... Thank you, guys. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. We enjoyed every second of it. Yep. It was great. It was awesome. All cut up and headed out. I got two rear quarters and a front quarter and both back straps. It's not light, but we're gonna make her. Jeremy's got the cape. I got the tender lines to set. That's all I can get. Sounds about right. <laughs> Jeremy's got the cape in the front. We're heading out in the snow. It's awesome. We're loving it. Big Billy down. The only negative is it is uphill the whole way. But we'll get there. Well, we decided to take a break. Whew. It's all uphill. But. How you doing? You got your animals. I don't know about Cigarette break? Yeah, gotta burn. <laughs> <laughs> up, 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 away.